this is as a certain feature no video questions to see how best you can help you out your process please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel let's get into the video U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services has announced a policy manual update for the purpose of calculating a non-citizen's age in certain situations under the Child Status Protection Act CSBA. Many of these children enter the United States as minors whose parents are on temporary work visas, like the H-1. Employers can sponsor the parents for a green card but the lengthy green card backlogs mean they often wait years to obtain permanent residence. If the child ages out and turns 21 while the parent is still on a temporary work visa or waiting for a green card, the child loses their legal status. For a child to obtain lawful permanent resident status in the United States based on their parents' approved petition for a family-sponsored or employment-based visa, the child generally must be under the age of 21. If the child turns 21 and ages out during the immigration process, the child generally is no longer eligible to immigrate with the parent based on the parent's petition. More than 200,000 children of temporary visa holders who grew up in the U.S. are at risk of losing their legal status when they turn 21. They either must apply for a different visa remain in the U.S. without legal status or leave. Around 10,000 of these so-called documented dreamers age out each year, according to the Cato Institute. Under this new guidance, the USCIS will now use the dates for filing chart to calculate these non-citizens' ages for CSPA purposes, which provides these non-citizens with more certainty about their eligibility to adjust their status, the federal agency said. Congress enacted the CSBA to protect certain non-citizen children from losing eligibility to obtain lawful permanent resident status based on an approved visa petition by providing a method to calculate the child's age that considers when an immigrant visa number becomes available. The Department of State's Visa Bulletin is used to determine when a visa number becomes available. The Visa Bulletin has two charts. One is the dates for filing chart and the final action date chart. Under the previous CSBA guidance, USCIS considered a visa available for purposes of the CSBA age calculation based only on the final action date chart. Even if a non-citizen could apply for adjustment of status using the earlier date in the dates for filing chart, this USCIS policy change is effective immediately and applies to pending applications. Therefore, some non-citizens with a pending application may now have a CSP age that is under 21 based on this change. For example, between October and December 2020, certain non-citizens were permitted to file their adjustment of status applications under the dates for filing chart of the Visa Bulletin. However, the final action date chart never advanced sufficiently for their applications to be approved. These non-citizens filed their adjustment of status applications with the requisite fee without knowing whether the CSBA would benefit them. This USCIS policy change is effective immediately and applies to pending applications. Therefore, some non-citizens with a pending application may now have a CSBA age that is under 21 based on this change. For example, between October and December 2020, Certain non-citizens were permitted to file their adjustment of status applications under the dates for filing chart of the Visa Bulletin. However, the final action date chart never advanced sufficiently for their applications to be approved. These non-citizens filed their adjustment of status applications with the requisite fee without knowing whether the CSBA would benefit them. If these non-citizens are eligible to adjust their status because of the change in policy and they have filed for adjustment of status, they will also be eligible to apply for employment and travel authorization based on their pending adjustment of status application, and they generally will not lose previously issued employment or travel authorization, it said. The USCIS said this policy manual update will not prevent all children from aging out before an immigrant visa is available to them, nor will it prevent children from losing non-immigrant status derived from their parents upon reaching the actual age of 21. 
The USCIS continues to explore all options available under the law to aid this population, the federal agency said. U.S. Congresswoman Deborah Ross applauded USCIS for taking action to protect some of the 200,000 documented dreamers who called the United States home. In the 117th Congress, Ross led her House and Senate colleagues in efforts to protect documented dreamers. She introduced the bipartisan, bicameral America's Children Act to provide a path to permanent residency to documented dreamers. Her amendment to prevent documented dreamers from aging out of the system passed the House of Representatives as part of the National Defense Authorization Act in July 2022. Notably, the President's Advisory Commission on Opus in its previous meetings had made such recommendations as well. A green card, known officially as a permanent resident card, is a document issued to immigrants to the U.S. as evidence that the bearer has been granted the privilege of residing permanently. The Commission has recommended that the USCIS should amend its policy manual to calculate the Child Status Protection Act application date of dependence, based on the filing date of the underlying visa application. There are more than 200,000 documented dreamers in the United States, predominantly from India although they can come from any country in the world. These young people are those who have or will age out of temporary status that is derived from being dependent on their parents. Temporary, employment-based non-immigrant visas. Because most non-citizens who come to the United States on temporary work visas do not have a clear path toward permanent legal status, if their dependent minor children come with them, those children face a dilemma. After turning 21 years old, they will age out of their temporary legal status derived through their parents' visas. At that point, they should leave the United States or face potential deportation, unless they can obtain a different temporary or permanent status themselves, because they maintain lawful status until they turn 21. Documented dreamers are ineligible for the temporary deportation protections and work authorization provided under the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, which requires a recipient to have no lawful status on June 15, 2012. As per the official record, in April 2020, there were an estimated 253,293 children waiting to obtain permanent residency based on their parents' employment-based immigrant visa petitions and at risk of aging out. Without a legal status to remain in the United States, children who age out must attempt to transition to a new temporary status self-deport or become undocumented and risk being subjected to enforcement action. Those who manage to obtain temporary status often find themselves without any path to permanent status unless they can graduate college, qualify for temporary employment, and then be sponsored for an immigrant visa and re-enter the green card queue from the back of the line. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!